Welcome back to the Tower Tech. Today we are pimping our Oculus Quest. We're making it last longer, feel more comfortable, feel more balanced, and protecting it against scratches. A great accessory lineup from AMVR. Let's get into it. My two biggest niggles with the Oculus Quest have been it's front heavy, doesn't feel very balanced, and the playtime's just not long enough. You want to get really immersed in a game, and not have to worry about all of those things. So in rolls a fantastic lineup of accessories from AMVR. We're taking a look at four of these today, including some lens protectors, additional cushioning for the head strap. We're taking a look at a, uh, a bracket for mounting a battery pack to the back of the headset, as well as a fantastic uh, five meter, 6.4 feet of uh, USB-C goodness to tether the headset to the PC. AMVR did supply these samples for free, but any opinion I give you will be my own. So starting with the lens protectors. Now these are absolutely ideal for anybody who wears glasses. They replace what are largely quite thin and plasticky lens protectors that come stock out of the box with some nice silicon inserts that can be either black, blue, red or any combination in between. And this set comes with three different sizes, a 4mm, a 5mm and a 7mm. Uh, these retail for around 15 bucks, about the same in UK pounds, and they're ideal for protecting the lenses of your glasses and your headset, stopping them rubbing and therefore scratching together. And you can adjust the thickness depending on the size of your glasses, size of your head, etc. And you can customize the colors to suit your taste. Next in is some additional foam for the head strap. This really was quite uniquely packaged. It came in a very flat bag with everything kind of stuck and Velcroed together. It did take a little bit while for me to work my way through the instructions, but once I got my head round it and the foam round the head strap, every pun intended, um, this really does provide some great additional support. It wraps round all three parts of the head strap that wrap around the back of your head and also provide some additional support for the weight of the device on the top of your head. I really did find that in combination with the facial interface replacement from AMVR, this really did solve pretty much all of the balance issues um, that uh, I found with the device. It felt somehow lighter, but of course that can't be true. And I actually forgot the headset was there. I got really immersed into my game. This probably is one of my favorite VR uh, accessories yet. Really would give this one five out of five stars. And the additional foam for the head strap is available for around $20. Uh, on to the battery pack mounting bracket. This one's really quite unique. Uh, it attaches to the, uh, the back of the head strap, so you effectively strap a battery pack to the back of your head. It makes account of the extra cushioning that we just take a look at, so you can wear it with that too. In fact, I'd recommend this. Um, with the uh, additional facial, facial interface material, the additional cushioning, whilst there was extra weight and it was noticeable, it wasn't too bad. And of course, what that means is you're charging your headset whilst you're actually playing. That's absolutely fab. So the combination of the cushioning, combination of a battery pack uh, on the back of your head, that's many, many, many hours of really immersive play. I did find that the battery um, made the headset a little bit more cumbersome to get on and off. And I did find when I turned my head side to side that there was quite a bit of momentum generated and the headset was actually shifting around on my head. You can uh, put it on a belt buckle. Uh, it comes with a fairly cheap kind of fabric belt, but you could attach it to a belt if you wear one as well. I did find the included cable wasn't quite long enough to do this, which was a bit disappointing, but it's absolutely fine uh, on your head. It doesn't look like the world's uh, most stylish accessory when you've got it on your belt, I have to say. Um, looks a little peculiar on the headset, but a whole heap 
better. The included USB cable has also got the uh, the nice magnetic connection on the USB-C, exactly the same as they've got on their Quest uh, dock, the Quest dock from AMVR. That's a nice touch, so it adds compatibility across uh, across the piece there as well. And last, but by no means least, is a five meter uh, USB type C to USB uh, A cable. Um, it's got some wizardry circuitry in there that apparently provides some kind of uh, current smoothing. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with the details of that, but what I did find was despite plugging it into an existing USB extension on my PC. It got absolutely flawless uh, performance. It both charged the headset whilst providing the data for the game. I had a quick whirl through uh, Echo One. Um, and I have to say, actually, the Quest's PC tethering is just getting better and better. The latency is getting less and less. Uh, the cable actually feels quite malleable as well, so um, no risk of getting nasty kinks and so you know as cables get deformed over time it didn't I got a sense I mean I've not used it for long enough really to comment but I it did feel quite malleable and comfortable to use nice handy clip included to wrap it around the uh, the top of your head so pretty good performance on a five meter cable that was plugged into a two meter uh, extension I think that's pretty good performance and testament to the quality of the cable uh, that you're getting there so you can get that for around 22 bucks all of these accessories combined plus the existing facial interface uh, replacement material they had I mean that's in excess of a hundred bucks that is quite a lot of money uh, you know one quarters the worth of the uh, of the headset itself on accessories feels like a lot but of course they don't bundle these together it's a pick and mix affair so buy what makes sense for you. Uh, I recommend these uh, accessories, all of them actually. It depends on your use case. I would almost certainly buy uh, the extra cushioning. That really was a game changer. Um, the silicon inserts, dependent on whether you wear glasses or not. Stylish thing, um, I suppose, but probably not that important. Um, the battery pack, um, depends how much you use it as a mobile device. I mean, for me, probably going to use it largely as PC tethered and then short sprints of Beat Saber actually from the battery. And um, I did find just that extra sort of weight and um, shifting of the headset a little bit, um, a little bit aggravating. The cable, uh, top quality actually, one of the best uh, cables I've used on the Quest. Um, so uh, there we go guys, AMVR uh, continuing to roll out a great lineup of accessories for a myriad of uh, VR headsets. Links to all of these products are down in the description. As always, I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like, share and subscribe, and subscribe even, and I will see you in my next one.